You want me. Yes. The man who married Ivy last night wants me. Come on. I can't do this. Not again. Do what? This is nothing like before. Waiting for you to get over another woman? God, it's not a real marriage. It's not a real marriage. It doesn't have to change anything. I won't let it. How do I not have dual citizenship? I mean, no, my parents aren't exactly A-types, but if I'd had known that they didn't bother to fill out the right paperwork, I could have done this myself. Doesn't matter now, you're married to an American. You heard what the agent said. It has to be proven. He's going to be watching Liam and me like a hawk to make sure that this is legitimate. So stop acting like it isn't. Who cares that it happened last minute? Let the agent watch you, interview whoever. All he's gonna see is that you're married to the man you love. Yeah, you're right. There's nothing to fear, as long as Liam plays along. You gotta get that idea out of your head. There's nothing to play, there's nothing to pretend. You are married. Wow. Seriously? Yeah. This is your new sister-in-law. That's, congrats. Thanks, we, well, we would have loved to have had the whole family there, but it was a, it's kind of a, a rushed thing. Anyway, I'm gonna let your mom fill you in on the details because I need to get home to my husband. Husband, it sounds funny. Huh. Hey, thanks for listening, Quinn. Always. You're friends now. I mean, yeah, I kind of helped her out with this whole deportation thing. And I didn't have to push, hit, or stab anyone. You have to understand the point of this marriage. I do. You're saving Ivy from being deported. So noble. So Liam. Don't, don't do that. What? Okay? Don't, what? Don't make fun of me. Make it sound like I can't help myself. You can't. A woman in need, it's Liam to the rescue without thinking about consequences or who you might be hurting. It's not, it's not a real were marriage. Made, Liam. Yes. Papers were signed. Yes, to keep Ivy in the country. She knows that. She's oh. under no delusions oh, don't, about don't, that. Don't you do that. Do not be that foolish. Ivy has your name now. You think she's gonna be okay with just dating would, and you seeing me at the same would time? You, oh, come on, forget about all that. You're not hearing me. I want you and I can get Ivy to understand that. You will never leave her stranded. Okay. 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 But once she's finally a citizen. No. It, nothing no. has changed except for a couple of signatures on her. I've changed. I'm different. I have grown. I have got a better sense of who I am and I know what I deserve. I am a different woman when I left for Paris. I'm not gonna wait patiently while you flip flop. You may want me right now, Liam. That's because you're just freaking out. But two minutes ago, you wanted both of us. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna sit here and waiting to see if I'm good enough for you. I won't share you anymore. I won't share my man with any woman. That's not what I'm asking. You're asking to go back to what we were. The endless back and forth. Liam Spencer caught between two women. Do you have any idea what that did to me? It was too painful. I can't do that again. I love you too much. I'm thrilled for Ivy. She was so close to losing it all. Okay, so maybe it's not about Ivy, mm. but I'm residually thrilled for her, if that counts. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Four. Well, I've done my part. Liam and Ivy have done their part. And Steffi no longer has Liam as an option. So you be her option. What was I supposed to do, Steffi? Tell Ivy to pack her bags, catch the next flight? Yes. She has a career here. She has a life here. It's not your problem. 
Ivy is not some random stranger. I'm helping to get a green card, Steffi. I care about her, and she was scared. Oh. And I was the only one who could help. Doesn't she have dual citizenship? I don't Come know. On. I don't know. She doesn't even know. So figure it out. They're not going to just shove her on the plane. She could get an attorney. You didn't have to marry her. I was just trying to do the right thing. You were trying to do the right thing. This was our time, Liam. I felt it. You made me believe that we were getting back together. How is this happening again? How is this? And now you're getting married? You're marrying Ivy, my cousin? How are you marrying Ivy? Marry my cousin! God, are you marrying my cousin? Marry my cousin! That's what you think this is? Don't, Steffi, don't, don't Steffi, I love you. I love you as much as I've ever loved you, and I am not giving up on this. I, I should go. Your wife's here. I should be the one to leave, because clearly I'm interrupting. Wait, wait, wait. I think, I think, I don't know what you heard. You, do, you don't, you don't have to explain. You've been completely upfront with me about your intentions. Steffi, Liam and I are not ready to be married right now. So it's just been thrust on us. This is just out of, just out of convenience. If Liam still wants to pursue a relationship with you when all of this has been settled, well, then you can just... You just let the American husband go on his merry way? Good news, Ivy. You don't have to pretend you'd be so gracious. I don't want anything to do with him. We are done. So you can continue to be the disaster that you are, fall into rivers, flirt with deportation, because Liam will always be there for you. He will always rescue you. Steffi, no, doesn't no, have to no, you two should use your common sense. This is insane. No, I'm gone, I'm done. Come on. Don't touch me, I am leaving. Steffi. Get, just be with your wife. Be the hero, Liam. Hearing it like that. Do you still have feelings for Steffi? I already knew that, Liam. You told me before we said vows. I get it. You love us both. I do. But what with Steffi, it's... It's something deeper. Am I always going to be second choice? Am I always going to be the one ruining your chances with her? Is you haven't ever ruined anything. Am I gonna be the one who's stopping you from being with who you actually wanna be with? With Steffi, there's just, uh, there's all of this history. Being with Steffi feels like being home. But now we have this marriage. Yeah. We have a marriage. Can I ask you something? Have you completely shut out the idea of us? What do you mean by that? Have you completely shut out the idea in your mind that you and I could ever work out? Is there not even a tiny part of you that believes that we could make this marriage more than just the right thing to do? Yes. Yeah, I... I would love to have you in my life. I would love to keep 
knowing you better and better, I, <laughs> I didn't imagine doing it as a married couple, but, but that's not the question, Ivy. The question is, could you ever, ever see this marriage as being anything more than it is, given how I feel about Steffi? Because honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you cut and run. I think Steffi's done enough running for the both of us. I hope to. I'm not like them, Liam. I don't get scared off. I don't get intimidated just because I'm not immediately handed something. I honestly believe that I'm a much better match for you than Steffi, and I understand that it might take me a little bit more work to convince you of that. But it hurts. It hurts like hell, knowing that you still have feelings for Steffi. Like, all of this time that we've been spending together means what? what it just means nothing? God, I hope you don't think that's true. That's how you make me feel. Look, I want to be honest with you like you have been with me. Because it is really scary admitting that what you just said to me doesn't scare me off. It's going to take a lot more than Steffi coming back. A woman who has proven time and time again that she doesn't respect you to make me give up on the idea of us. I believe that we have a foundation to have a wonderful life together. I really believe that. I do. And I think you do as well deep down underneath all of this Steffi confusion. Can't you just give it a go? I mean, who knows? Maybe one day I could start to feel like home too. Shouldn't you at least try? Yeah, let's try. I don't know what's gonna happen. But let's give this marriage a shot to see where it goes. Let's try. And Steffi. You are, she's out. She I don't think she understands. I do. I do understand. Now you've got me. Your wife. I want to pressure you. You're not. I know that a small part of you still wants to be with Steffi. And yeah, the life well, of her. you know, part of me always will. You know what I'm trying to teach myself? It's how to let go of what isn't meant to be. Because as hard as Steffi and I try, whether it's bad luck or bad timing, it just doesn't. It just doesn't seem to work. And I don't want my disappointment over that to blind me to you. Because you are so beautiful, inside and out, Ivy. And how dare I let my feelings for Steffi interfere with me finding out with this week? I want to find out. I made a decision to marry you. You didn't force me. I chose it. I chose it. And I want to see where this marriage could go. Mr. Spencer? Mrs. Spencer? Agent McCaffrey, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. May I come in? Have I uh, caught you at a bad time? Kinda, yeah. Something wrong, Mrs. Spencer? We're married. Can't you just leave us alone? I just need to speak with you, Mrs. Spencer, alone. It won't take much time. Oh, for God's no, sake. It's fine. Maybe then he'll just leave us alone. All right, I'll be outside. Say what you have to 
say and then get out. Steffi probably knows by now. She's probably hurting. Needs a big, strong shoulder to cry on. Uh, Steffi Forrester does not need a big, strong shoulder to cry on. She needs a man to punch in the face. So, go to her. Spar a bit. Hmm. I don't know why you don't believe me. We're married, you just heard my husband. Yes, you're both very good at defending this union. Kind of makes it more suspicious, actually. Oh, oh my, oh my God. You know what, just do your investigation, have your surprise visits, I don't care. Won't be necessary. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, well, as it turns out, we made a mistake. It happens. You made a mistake? You have dual citizenship. I do? Yes. You can work here and stay in this country, with or without Liam Spencer. I heard you've been down this road before, Steffi. There's a reason why you left them. Look, the way I see it, you had a choice. You can choose to let him go and leave all the drama behind, or you can continue to be miserable. This summer is yours. You can do what you want with it. You don't owe him anything. What do you want to do? Maybe take a chance? Have a little fun? What's that all about? What? What did the, the immigration guy want to talk to you about? Is it about, like, your paperwork or our marriage or what? Ivy, what did he say? 